All right, everyone. It's time to start making preparations. There you are. If you expected to find us scaling the walls already, I'm sorry to disappoint. Don't get me wrong. We considered taking a stab at it, but with our limited numbers, I don't really think that plays to our strengths. Well, let's see. We have this sewer entrance here that the Imperials don't seem to know about. And then, well, we have you, of course. I'm thinking to base our attack strategy around that. What do you say? Yes. Sometimes victory means getting dirty, and that's quite literally true here. Yeah. A passage in the sewers leads to the gatehouse. If you'll open the main gate, we can get into the garrison without having to scale the walls and lose half our men. Just so you know, while you're slogging through sewage, we won't be napping out here. We'll go ahead and assault the main gate. It'll create a good distraction. It'll also mean that if you fail, we'll all die. Just so you know. Unless the gods decide to strike me down before the battle starts, I've had enough standing around in throne rooms talking about fighting the Imperials. I miss the satisfaction of sliding a sword between the plates of an enemy's armor. Of course, battle runs in our blood. You think our family rose to royal power by attending teas, playing games at court, and currying favor with the right nobles? No, this king and queen work at its heart. It's a bloody business. I haven't neglected that. I've looked at the garrison's layout and whatnot, and it'll really depend on what we find in there. I am confident we'll catch them off guard, so no matter what, we'll have to capitalize on that. The sad truth is we're not even sure. More than 200 Knights of St. Helen were stationed here, but only a handful escaped. Their stories are all over the place. Giant Daedra scaling the walls, the dead rising from the crypt, who knows? That old witch was undoubtedly the mastermind. And actually, one of the knights who escaped claimed Septimus snuck into the garrison posing as a Red Guard refugee and then unleashed Oblivion the next night. Knowing her, that's quite possible. Yes, I met her once back before the soul burst. I'm ashamed to admit I actually fancied the girl. She was as cold as a Nordic winter, of course. I wonder if she's still attractive, though. Regardless, I think her head would look best on a pole. Many more worthy than me have given their lives to protect this kingdom. My husband. My children. I am not afraid to join them.
your shame! Drive the bastards back or put them down! I quite forgot how it feels. The rush of blood to the head, the sound and fury of battle. So what if I put on a few years? This is where I belong. I'm going to take back this garrison or die trying. I've captured a few keeps in my day and I've learned the hard way. Whoever holds the courtyard holds the keep. So I'm going to seal our grip on this space. We should also hit the barracks though, before the Imperials get their greaves on. Yes, but I'm not saying to slaughter a bunch of half-dressed soldiers. We're not Reachmen for Mara's sake. No, I'm hoping some of our knights are imprisoned there, and you can free them. We need all the swords we can get. After we've got the courtyard under control, we'll meet you up there. Oh, and if you see Septimathan or any of her commanders, feel free to take them down. I'd love to kill the old witch myself, but you're better qualified. Commander Atias is down the hall. He tortured us. He needs to pay. One favor I ask. If you see Commander Atias, kill him! It's a damn good thing you came out. I was just about to charge in there and find you myself. If I had died, it would have been your fault. You don't want the death of a king on your head, do you? Gods, I probably shouldn't jest like that, not around Argella. Poor thing. 
There's no telling what these twisted Imperial bastards might have done with King Aeoman's corpse. He was about to be entombed here when the garrison fell, of course. The royal crypt. All of Bankorai's rulers are buried there, to keep eternal vigil and such. The Imperials are doing something horrific in there. It's where they've formed their last line of defense. Whatever they're doing, I need you to stop them. East, across the bridge behind me. They're just throwing conscripts at us to keep us from getting across. They'll run out of fodder eventually. But if you'll lead the charge across on your way to the crypt, we can take the bridge now. You're going to the crypt, aren't you? If those churlish rats have raised Aemond, you strike him down. Don't hesitate. I loved my husband, but I'd rather see him burned than in that state. Whatever happens, just make sure I don't see him. is ours. You imbeciles will soon witness the Empire's true strength. this foul, icy fog rolled in. The earth shook, and those dolmen emerged from the ground beneath our feet. We retreated here to await your return. The rest you can clearly see. I'm afraid the giant Daedric Anchors from the Sky issue is more your speciality than my own. I'll let you lead on this one. A wise leader knows how to delegate, my father used to say. He may have died in his cups, but the man knew his aphorisms. What could be more kingly? 
Vankarai is mine, mortal. You cannot possibly protect it. Many more worthy than me have given their lives to protect this kingdom. My husband, my children. I am not afraid to join them. Began to crumble! Knights of St. Pelin, many of your brothers and sisters died here, but this was the purchase of their sacrifice. Be grateful and be proud! We have the bastards on the run now! Come, Margella! Come! Experience the joy of watching your enemies! Flee from battle. I'll be honest with you, I didn't think we could retake the garrison. I expected to die here. I was even looking forward to it. But my heart is filled with happiness right now. Not for myself, but for the people of Evermore. Well, of course the war is far from over, but we've won a crucial battle. Definitely gave the Imperials a black eye. And Evermore is safe. I should return there, but I have a feeling Emmerich will want to press on to liberate Southern Bankrai. Whether it's wise or not isn't for me to say. All I can say is that if Emmerich wants to push on, I hope you will go with him. It's clear that any undertaking you're a part of is more than likely to succeed. You know, I really thought the years had hardened Emmerich, made him cold. But since he arrived in Evermore, I've caught glimpses of the cousin I used to play with when we were kids. Difficult as all this has been, I think it's rekindled his spirits. <laughs> 